Well, let's throw it over to Jack Stover and his Athens TV soccer crew. Champions to take the field out, unify us, and make us feel proud. In the streets, our heads are lifting as we lose our inhibition. Celebration, it surrounds us, every nation all around us. Singing forever young, singing songs underneath the sun. Let's rejoice in the beautiful. can't stand getting kicked around or hit out of spite. She insists on being caressed, kissed, lulled to sleep on the chest or the foot. She's proud, vain perhaps, and she's not lacking a motive. She knows all too well that when she's rising gracefully, she brings joy to many hearts. And many a heart is crushed when she lands without style. Beautiful words from Uruguayan author Eduardo Galenia, speaking of the ball, of course the soccer ball. Hi, I'm Jack Stover, and today we have a special panel for you two, the Athens Game Day Soccer Panel. Once again, as Risa tossed it towards Morientes, and then Gerard! Oh! Oh, goodness me! What a strike from Steven Gerard! I told you, I told It's a big game tonight as Athens takes on number fourth ranked Frazier in opening round of regional play. I'm joined today by soccer icons from around Athens. Up first, all the way from England, where the national angst is generated by constant letdown from their na national team, Felicity Harfield. <laughs> Hello. And his brother plays, attacking and receiving mid, all the support from his parents that he never did, Mr. Athens himself, Jacob Arabo. They won a district championship last year in a shootout of their own. From the varsity girls soccer team, Carly Phillips. Hi. And finally, she watches every game intently from the stands. Actually, watches the players intently from the stands. Lindsay Ludmark. Hey. All right, so is it fair to say that this Red Hawk team has already overachieved? I mean, last year's team, who told anyone that would listen that they were going to win states, didn't even win districts. What of that? Teams, they played really hard. Yeah, last year they just had a bad day. This year they're rolling with it and feeling great. They could score more goals though. Interesting point. Elaborate for me, please. Well, I think they could just score more goals before overtime. The team isn't built on offense though, it's built on defense. It's built knowing that if you go into overtime or worse, into a shootout, you're going to be in trouble. Plus, you get to watch them for longer. Well, let's throw it over to the Athens TV Soccer Tactics Board, where Carly and Jacob are joined by Athens TV Soccer Tactics Analysis and football player Eddie Oprinka. Eddie, how do you see the team lining up? Well, Jack, are we talking about how they will line up or how they should? Because if we were talking about how they should, I've got them lining up in an unexpected, previously thought to be extinct WM formation. Lindsay informed us that Frazier is very athletic and she is right. The key is to going to be use that athleticism against them. That's why I want to see a lot wait what? <laughs> a lot of wing play walking the key Nick Watkins on the wing. I want to see quick work on the corner. I want to use the Tranquista run to show out there. How about a false nine? I know that Sweet Lou Kasich was really pushing for a false nine a few weeks ago back, but it doesn't make same here, sense here. What exactly is a false nine? A false nine is when someone lines up as a forward but doesn't play as a forward, as Carly and Jacob are demonstrating now. Back to you, Jeff. Thanks, Eddie. Well, that brings us to the predictions from Felicity Harfield in England. Uh, I'm going with a 1-0 Athens victory. 
Felicity, I think you mean nil. Jacob, how about you? I like to expect the unexpected in these games. I'm going to play, I'm going to go with a 4-1 to Athens victory. Carly? I think both teams will play hard, 2-2 heading into overtime, where Athens wins in PKs. I think they're all going to look great. How about a score? Hot. <laughs> and our guest picker, fresh off his irrational powder puff prediction, Corey Sorcina. Corey, what do you got? Well, Jack, I see no way around this. I mean, Fraser is ranked fourth, and Lindsay has confirmed that they are terribly athletic. They also lead the country in passing percentage within the final third. But I suppose I have to say, not so fast! It's a home game, and the Hawks' nest will be out in full force. And with everyone just pretending it says Troy instead of Fraser on the front, there's no way we'll lose, especially when I'm projecting Nick Watkins with 17 goals. I say Athens 16.5 to Fraser's nil. Well, that's all from us. Good luck to the team and have a great day. Champions take the field out.